Hello Facebook friends and welcome to this, the first in a series of videos that I will be posting on Facebook to promote uh, my new forthcoming novel, Panic and Pleasure in the Streets of Gibraltar, that will be shortly published by MMX and Fiction Books. Many of you will know me, especially people my age, but for the younger generations that probably do not know me, let me introduce myself. My name is Francisco Javier Oliva, commonly known as Paco, and I'm a Gibraltarian writer for over 35 years. This new novel is my sixth work, and I started writing books back in 2004 with a book, with a political book, a study of the Gibraltar question that was called uh, The Frontiers of Doubt. It was an in-depth analysis of the Gibraltar political situation, uh, focusing on the development and, and the rise of nationalism in Gibraltar and I took a quite critical standpoint on that political phenomenon. It was a very successful book. Um, the, the entire print run of about 600 books was, was sold in a matter of weeks. Um, after that in 2008 I switched over to fiction and I published my first uh, collection of short stories under the title um, The Night Gibraltar Disappeared and other stories. As I say, it was a collection of, of short stories, modern fiction. Um, uh, the stories were basically uh, 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 delved into the, the in, inner recesses of the human psyche. Uh, and there was elements of horror and mind-melting surrealism. Uh, and of course, uh, human relationships and um, how uh, relationships between men and women often go um, uh, wrong and uh, you know, the, the passions that are unleashed uh, in those situations. Um, it, it was an interesting uh, collection of, of stories um, since uh, then to this day I've, I've sold around, around a thousand books um, and just recently, just a few days ago, um, the, the Gibraltar Museum placed an order for books which means that the book is still being sold and, and still being read, you know. And, you know, there's nothing worse for a writer than to feel that his writing gets lost in some kind of um, void of, of, of silence and indifference, you know. Fortunately, that has not been the case with that, with that particular work. Then in 2012, I made an, an incursion into the world of poetry, which was quite disastrous because, you know, didn't uh, sell very, very much. Uh, I wrote uh, two books. Uh, one was called The Imaginary Death of the European Poet, uh, which, as I say, uh, was commercially wasn't very successful in terms of sales. And simultaneously to that, I published another uh, poet, uh, book of poetry in Spanish, which was called uh, Poemario Gris Dorado, 2008-2012. And, and likewise, uh, the, the sales were very poor. Um, so then, uh, now we come to um, 2017, and my first fully fledged novel, it's an 80,000 word work. Uh, I started writing it in August of last year, and um, I finished it in January. And um, as I say, I mean, I, I, it's, it's, it re recovers some of the themes of the book of short stories and obviously develops them and takes them further, you know. Um, so I'm very, very um, uh, satisfied with the, with the end result. And as I say, the book will be published sh shortly. Um, also, uh, I've, been I've been writing other things um, as well. I mean, I've, I've written uh, a, po uh, um, a play which is called um, You Have the Right to Remain Silent which hasn't been staged yet because the costs were prohibitive, you know, the production costs were very high and, and I just couldn't, I didn't find the, the funding for it. Um, so I will take the opportunity here, now, anybody out there listening who would be interested, in, may be interested in, in the project and would like to know more about it, especially the financing aspects of, of the play, they can contact me through here and uh, I'd be delighted to, you know, to, to get together to discuss it further. Um, so there.
apart from the play, uh, I've written two other books. I mean, they're not finished yet. They're not finished yet. Um, they're at a very advanced stage, uh, but not quite yet finalized. The first one is, is called uh, Johnny Trueno y Mis Amigos Muertos, which is written in Spanish. And um, it's basically uh, uh, the, the action uh, unfolds against the backdrop of the 1980s, the bars, the music, uh, the bands uh, that were around at that time. And as you will be able to surmise from the, from the title, it is my tribute to the great archetypal rock and roll star Johnny Thunders of um, New York Dolls and Heartbreakers fame. Um, and apart from that, it's also, um, I've also written a memoir, a memoir of my childhood and my adolescence growing up in Gibraltar and also in La Linea because even when the frontier was closed during the school summer holidays my family used to get on a boat and we used to go to uh, visit our family in La Linea and um, you know La Linea is very close to, to me as is Gibraltar and has had a you know has been important in my in, 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 in my development and in um, you know, how in, in, the per, in shaping the person that I have become, you know, I would say almost an equal measure to, to Gibraltar. So that's it. I mean, basically, um, uh, this is the, the, an update on, on my, my literary output. And let me just say also that I'm sitting in a, in a very nice corner of my house with a wonderful painting by. Leslie Gaduso behind me, uh, one of the paintings that uh, adorns the walls of my house. No doubt in coming weeks I will be showing you uh, more of the paintings that I have in the house. Uh, but I think that for now, um, I hope that you will continue to join me, as I say, in the coming weeks, so that I keep you abreast of, of developments, of my literary artifacts, and, you know, and as we uh, work to the publication day, so that is it. I mean, thank you very much for listening, for taking time to uh, stay listening until the end of this uh, transmission or broadcast. And I will see you. I will see you next time. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. And we'll we'll catch up again soon. Good night. Mm, this is a damn fine cup of coffee. Brother, ponme otra taza.